Hi, that's Trisha. This is Paulina. And that's Juju. And our classic is Half Mexican by Juan Felipe Herrera. <laughs> Ought to be a half Mexican. Let me put it this way. I am Mexican plus Mexican. Then there's the question of the half. To say Mexican without the half, well, it means another thing. One could say only Mexican, then, then think, think of, of pyramids. pyramids. Obsidian flaw. Flame etching. Goddesses with flayed visages, claw feet, and skulls as belts. These are, are not, not Mexican. Mexican. They are existences. That is to say... Slavery. Sinew. Hearts shredded with sacrifices for the continuum. Corks in galaxies. The cosmic milk that flows into trees, then, then darkness. darkness. What is the other? Yes. It is Mexican too, yet it is formless. It is speckled with particles. European, European pieces? pieces? To say colony or power is incorrect. Better to think of Kant in his tiny room. Shuffling and his black socks seeking out the notion of time. Or Einstein reworking the erroneous equation. Concerning the way light bends. All this has to do with the, the half. half. The, the half, half thing, thing when you are a half, half being. being. Time. Light. How they stalk you and how you beseech them. All this becomes your lifelong project. That is, you are Mexican. One half Mexican, the other half Mexican. Then the half against itself. Yeah. And this is our response, light-skinned Latinas. Yeah. Yours? So whitewashed. You don't act like a Latina. You don't even look Latina. You, you say we don't, don't look Latina. Latina. We ask, what's a Latina supposed to look like? An undocumented immigrant? A drug dealer living in the barrio? Trolla downing tequila shouting, ay ay! Un Colombiano snorting cocaine in the back alley. Or, or do, do you, you see, see us? us? Like light skinned girls whose ambiguity leaves us unable to know how we should identify. Light skinned girls who are told we are lucky to be so light in color but are left to determine whether it's an insult or compliment. Light skinned girls who are undeserving of the title Latina. These names are medals belonging to warriors fighting the everyday battles of deportation, racial profiling, stop and frisking. Our skin is a camouflage where we can hide from these flying bullets and bombs shot at the unmistakably Latino. Instead, we face a different battle, one on the home front of our own minds. We pass as both, so neither want us. So a Latino, skin of a gringo. Feeling a language in the air that never quite lands on our tongue. I can't speak a word in Spanish without someone examining the stolen accent. Without careful consideration on my pronunciation. As if they are words I stole from my ancestors. Artificial bloodline injected in a needle. Watered down, zero calorie. Low fat Latina. Skim. Melanin. Skin that prevents us from being seen as valid in a community that is supposed to be our own. You, you say we don't look Latina, Latina, not because we're an anomaly, but because the definition of Latina has been so narrowly defined by the people you can actually call white. The stories okay. you see of us are not our own. They're what you want us to be. We're your caricatures, expected to berate around a mariachi shaky maracas. You, you say we don't, don't look Latina, Latina because we are more than just a scattering of stereotypes. You, you say we don't, don't look Latina, Latina, but brown is not a color, but a multitude of shades. The title is not branded on our skin. Stands on our head, seal of ethnicity, authenticity. It lives inside us when we arrive late to everything. Sing sana sana over scraped knees. Eat the tamales and basole at Christmas Eve. Dance from our hips to cumbia at family parties. You may not know who we are, but we still do. We, we don't, don't have to prove our culture to you. 